Look through the roller. All right, well, there's Debbie's roller there. And uh, we're going to roll it outside so everybody can get a better view of this. And uh, we're going to sneak it around my truck. We'll take it down to the end of the drive. And uh, we'll have Debbie model for us. The lovely Debbie. <laughs> well, we'll have Reed model. Make motorcycle sounds. Okay, when you get to the end, you'll have to just lift it up a little bit to get it, because I don't want those shocks to hit the... Uh... So, Debbie, why don't you tell them how long your bike is now? <laughs> uh, it is two inches shy of ten feet long. That's the overall length, and the wheelbase is... Uh, 91 inches. 91 inches, that's right. <laughs> oh, my so God. going to Flintstone it down here. <laughs> <laughs> kind of excited right now, I can't yeah, we'll tell you. Ready? <laughs> Here it comes. Damn. Holy shit balls. <laughs> okay, that's pretty fucking cool. Okay, now the front end sits up a little bit on the frame rails there, right where the where the uh, where the bend goes, wow. and by the time we get the engine transmission and uh, primary in there, it should sit pretty level. That's fucking cool. There we go. Great job, Rich. So all our guesstimates were right. No, I'm just kidding. We <laughs> we got the measurements from Sugar Bear. We fiddled around a little bit with them and uh, got about what uh, Sugar Bear wanted, but we didn't go quite as much out as Sugar Bear had told us and went a little bit more up. So. Uh, there we are. More importantly, what everybody wants to see when you come sit down. And everybody that was uh, talking about how big that down tube was, it doesn't look so big anymore, does it? Right? Huh? Um, well, that, if you wanted to explain what you were doing with the wheel and everything, too. As far as? Uh, with the spacers and the perimeter and the rotor and all that. Oh, well, we wound up with the... Uh, Having to move the uh, the center of the wheel over uh, an eighth of an inch to, to the left on the front as well, so uh, we've got to get clearance for those button heads on the perimeter brake. So, so now we have an eighth of an inch clearance on our button heads, and that's fine. So Debbie, why don't you hop out, give the phone to Reed there, and uh, uh, come here that way. Here, Rich, you can. If you want to grab the phone, that way they can hear you talk while you explain. <laughs> yeah, Deb was talking about she's probably going to change and go down to more about a four inch riser. Bring that down just a little bit more and come back with some more bar there. Well, I'm pleased with the dimensions of this. I'm, uh, I'm very happy. Uh, all the pre-planning uh, worked out pretty well, and uh, there we are. Great job, Rich. Fantastic. Couldn't be more stuck. I was just gonna kind of, kind of cleanly go back over that perimeter rotor on the back. We we'll use that Buell caliper setup. How well and centered. That uh -uh. Makes your titties look big, though. Progressive rear shock there. That's an adjustable preload. Heavy. That way we got a little more adjustment with that heavier front end. That big down tube. Twenty-five over Sugar Bear. Lead sled made the Invader wheels. Now look how long that thing is. Hey, babe.
We'll have to remember Michael Lichter said we need to make sure the handlebar position is proper so that way we can get some better photos of you. Right. Michael. So, so Michael, we're thinking about you. Again, there's that perimeter rotor setup. Gonna be running a Jim's 100 and turb, uh, Jim's 120 inch motor Evo mount twin cam setup with one of the Jim six speeds with it as well. Primo belt primary with obviously a uh, 530 ring chain final. Rich, you might want to get in there too. Get a nice nice shot of the two of you guys in there. <laughs> Never miss the opportunity. Absolutely. What a great job. There's the master. Thanks for watching, guys.